Today we are giving our blog readers a peek behind the Connecticut Health Foundation curtain to understand how we think about the issue of capacity. We think about capacity in two ways. In our grant making, we use organizational capacity as a key point of decision-making criteria. We want to make sure that the organizations we fund have the organizational capacity and expertise and technical competencies to be successful in the projects they are seeking funding for. On the other side, uh, we understand that capacity is an ongoing process it is not something that an organization has or doesn't have. They have capacity on a continuum, and it's something that organizations of all sizes can continue to try to increase and to build. So from time to time, the Connecticut Health Foundation will initiate an opportunity be it funding or a training that is intended to help bolster the capacity of our grantee and partner organizations. Now we have observed that capacity can be a, a chicken or egg issue, especially when it comes to capacity building. So what this means is that, um, as, as one reviewer in a, a grant review panel put it, often those organizations that have get more. So organizations that are high performing, that have a long history, that are larger, that have had attracted grant dollars tend to continue to build on their past success, their past infrastructure, and to keep getting additional resources. But in a world where resources are finite, this often means that organizations that are lower capacity, they don't always receive uh, the funding, or they don't always have the capacity to devote to a capacity building effort. So they don't take advantage of the opportunities because, let's face it, building capacity takes a lot of time, energy, and resources. So you have to have some degree of capacity to engage in a capacity building process. So that's sort of the catch-22 about capacity building. The philanthropic sector relies heavily on training opportunities to promote capacity building. But let's face it, we cannot solely train our way out of capacity issues. So it's, it's part of the solution, but we need to think more holistically about capacity building than training alone. So it means that we always need to focus on ensuring that we have the right talent and personnel who have the skills, the content expertise, the technical expertise to be successful and to grow an organization's capacity. You know, uh, we invite others to chime in about their thoughts on capacity building. How do we use it as a tool to create equity among organizations that share in a vision for um, improved health for the people of Connecticut?